Well, good afternoon, everybody. Sunday afternoon. So far, Sunday hasn't been too productive for me. I was busy surfing YouTube and watching a couple of live streams, and before you know it, it's the afternoon. But anyways, made it out here eventually. Did a quick run up to the uh, recycling depot too, got rid of some junk. Took Brownie out for a ride, he liked that. Also got some new uh, buckets, three new buckets. Now somebody asked me, why are you buying buckets when there's lots of them for free? Well, I agree with that. I got most of these for free. But for whatever reason, I just haven't been finding any lately. So, and I needed some, so what are you going to do? It's like everything else, though. A lot of the buckets now are junky. Oh, look at this. This one even came with scrap in it. Not really. I just happened to run across something that had a cord on it that needed to be cut off. So anyways, I got these at... Uh, well, up here we... We call uh, Lowe's Rona, Lowe's bought Rona out, long story short. So those are, I find those are pretty good, good quality buckets. So, about three of them, they're two dollars and something each, so. When you need them, you need them. I need them. So I just put those down there to be, uh, to be filled up at a later date. Another plug. Can't quite reach the plug bucket from here. It's too difficult of a shot. Yeah, I've got a cord bucket going somewhere where it is. Yeah, actually last uh, fall or I had a Big garbage can full of cords there. I took them into the local yard there. Forgot what I got. Forgot what I got for them, about a buck a pound or something. Anyway, so whilst I was out here, I thought I would just go over this track lighting. Scrapping this track lighting. Now, uh, this stuff, uh, if you ever see an old retail, well, not old, uh, if you see a retail store being demoed or something, uh, check your dumpster because the stores, they used to love this track light. It was everywhere. And uh, when they do a reno, it just goes straight in the dumpster. Nobody saves it. Seen lots of this thrown out over the years. And people just never seem to realize what's actually inside it. Let's get this end cap off here. Of course, uh, of course it's fighting me, but what else is new? So anyways, why would I pick up track light if I see it? Well, I'll tell you why. So, Inside each track, there's these channels that the actual track light head clicks into. And as you can see, they've got copper in them. And this is about the easiest copper you're ever going to uh, come across. So there you go little piece of, nice little piece of number one copper. Number one bucket. So there's usually uh, three, three conductors in this. Hot, neutral, and ground. Now there is some that's two circuit track, which this might be. We'll get to that one shortly. Oops. Just like that, another nice piece of copper. And 
and another nice piece of copper. Oh, that one missed the bucket. Now, the rest of the good news with this stuff, get this tape off of here. This painter's tape, but it's really sticking. So this is uh, aluminum. This is extruded aluminum, which is some of the better aluminum that you're going to find. But they're kind of fussy about it. They pay, uh, I think right now it's like a buck a pound or something like that. But they're kind of fussy with it. They want it nice and clean, so. Get most of that stinking tape off of there. Whatever brand this painter's tape was, don't buy it. I think if you use this on your gyprock wall, it would take part of the wall with it. So that's pretty good. So yeah, not only do you get that copper, you get this nice extruded aluminum as well. Yeah, the only waste is these tracks that the conductors go in, but that's not too bad. We'll deal with those later. Now, this is a much thicker version. Uh, there's one side missing. This is actually a two-circuit track. Same idea. The two circuit track is not as common. So again, we got three nice pieces of copper. And another chunky piece of extrusion. And there's our only waste. This copper always, well, nearly always, pulls out pretty easy. Three more chunks of copper. So sometimes if you're lucky you can come across like hundreds of feet of this stuff so it's usually in four foot and eight foot links so it's quite manageable but yeah see how nice and thick that is that's like uh, an eighth of an inch thick oops wrong bucket and left with some extrusion. Let's see if we can just weigh this quick like. So 
So 3.9 pounds, let's say 4 pounds. So that's a nice little bit of aluminum. You know, 4 bucks worth of aluminum. I uh, didn't know what the copper weighed, but uh, it was a little bit there. So probably uh, 5 bucks. Just out of that little bit of stuff. And like I say, the best part is it's not a huge amount of mess you have to deal with afterwards. So the next time you see a store or something being renoed, it's worth checking the dumpster. So well, there you go. If you've ever wondered what was in track lighting, was it worth it? Definitely is if you can get it. That's all for now, and I will see you all later. Actually, it was bugging me, so I fished that copper out of the bin just to see what it actually weighed. So, according to this, 0.7 of a pound, 0.6, okay. Let's say 0.6. So right now, number one, we get about $5 for it. $3 worth of copper right there. So just that little bit of track lighting between the aluminum and the copper, you're at about $7. So that's a very worthwhile item to scrap if you come across it.